What's going on with y'all boys on YouTube? First of all, I want to give all praise to the most high, you feel me? But these boys, we getting in the Dom's debut. He got a crazy team. He got the number one pick, Doug McDaniel, himself, and the former number one pick the year before, Victor Wimbiama. They got a crazy team. But they're going against the Rockets, and the Rockets got a crazy team too. I'm not even going to cat. They got a man Thompson, second year player. I believe the fifth or sixth overall the year before this, the draft, you feel me? Next up, they got that boy Isaiah Collier out of USC, Brownie's teammate, you feel me? They got a crazy backcourt, and I'm saying that you can't forget about that boy Sagoon, or however you pronounce bro's name, but bro's cold, you feel me? And last but not least, they got that boy Jalen Green, and they also got Jabari Parker, I believe is his name, but I forgot to, uh, what's called, include the clip in here, but they got all them boys. They got a nice, nice starting five. We're going to get straight into it. You know what I'm saying? This is Dom's rookie debut. And Dom's coming up to court with the ball. You feel me? Dom's more of a less score heavy type player. Like, he's going to shoot his threes. Don't get me wrong, but he tries to get his team involved. But Dom's coming over with an easy lay. You feel me? Getting on the board. You feel me? Coming down the court, going behind the back, going into a little hesitation. Dom trying to fill the course of see He's going to go for an easy pick, you feel me? Because that boy Victor is a beast. And Dom going to get to the lane for an easy dunk, you feel me? Now, coming back on defense, Dom ain't step up. So Jalen Green going to let him know you got to step up. This the NBA rook, you feel me? And Dom, he, he just got to uh, get right. But he going to get the easy pass off to Victor. and that, You know, that's a bucket every time. That boy 7, 4, 5, 6, and 7, you feel me? That boy tall, you feel me? But Dom gonna pull up with like water, and that's green every time. You know what I'm saying? Jalen Green trying to come back with another three, but it didn't work out. Dom gonna get the ball and go up for an easy lay. Tell that boy get out the way. He need to get in the way from you. You feel? And I know I've been saying you feel me a lot in my videos, bro. I have noticed that, bro. It's just something I do on accident. You feel me? It, it, it don't be purposeful. It just it's in my vocabulary. But I'm gonna try to. Not say it as much, but Dom comboing up, going up for the alley. Victor gonna get that. We're going crazy. You feel me? Huh, you feel me? Victor is a 7 5 demigod. He's a, he's literally a 2k credit player. As you see him getting the easy lay, you feel me? And Dom, that's one thing he has better than me on his team. He has a better big. Don't get me wrong, DeAndre Aiden is a great big. You feel me? For my team, he's not like trash but compared to victor oh my gosh it's the difference i'll tell you because victor's seven five but dom's getting fouled you know what i'm saying going to the lane and he gonna hit those you feel me he going behind the back gonna throw an alley up to Wimby, and you know he going slam that every time because he's seven nine you feel me huh. easy you feel me they don't even look real when he be dunking this boy barely jump out the floor but Dom will go behind the back, kick it to his teammate for an easy lay, you feel me? Dom is a playmaker. Dom is a playmaker. You feel me? Pulling up, and that's wet like water, you feel me? That boy Doug McDaniel getting his first three of the game. Dom passing in transition, getting an easy lay. I'm telling y'all, this boy, his playmaking is underrated. A lot of people in college say that Dom was predominantly a scorer. But the only reason he was predominantly a scorer is because... I was running points. So he was not the predominant ball handler. So he was only averaging about four assists a game. But that's still cool for a shooting guard. You see him dropping that boy. I mean, Thompson, you know what I'm saying? That boy Dom, his playmaking is underrated. He got crazy handles and crazy passing skills. You feel me? Now, I really compare him to like a like a John Wall, De'Aaron Fox type of, build, type of player. But his shooting is like Curry because he shoots lights up. I'm not going to lie, but y'all can see the playmaking. He has great vision, great court vision. But these boys are going back and forth. Sagoon going to get the rebound and get the easy lay. These boys was not going out without a fight. I'm not even going to cap to y'all. But he going to kick it to Doug. He going to try to go over three. It's not going to work out. Coming back on the fast, breaking another possession. Dom's going to come down the court, kick it to the corner. And that's green, you feel me, every time you feel me. That boy Dom is going crazy. I'm so sorry, y'all boys. I know I keep saying you feel me, but it's just in my vocabulary. Y'all got to forgive me. People was commenting on the last video like, I feel you, bro. You don't got to keep saying you feel me. 
It just how I talk. I apologize. I'm trying to fix it. You feel me? See, it's just natural. It's just natural. But, uh, yeah. These boys was not going out of the fight. I'm not going to cap. This is a close, close game. As Dom's pulling up for three, he's not able to get it to go. But Victor's going to get the rebound. Kick it back out of Dom. Isaiah Collier gets the steal. He's going to go down for an easy lay. Dom definitely got to tighten up if he won't. If he want to be the predominant ball handler, he definitely has to tighten up, you feel me? But he kicking it to Jalen Green, and that's wet like water. You cannot leave that boy open because it's wet like water every time. This is the NBA, and he let me know I can leave him open. But I'm letting him know I can do some shooting too as they passing it to me, and it's wet like water. Man, y'all boys do not know how many times I had to stop saying you feel me and cut the clip or whatever, but say going to get the easy board, and he going to get the easy dunk. That boy going crazy, and you know he going to tee up and let us know about it every time. Don's coming down the court with the Hezzy, stepping back, pulled up for three, and you know that's green. But coming back to defense, Jalen Green, I don't know if you're trying to post or do whatever, but he going to the three, and he's hitting that wet like water. Every time I leave him open, he going to hit. I kind of ain't think bro could shoot like that. I ain't going to cap because he was like more of a slashing player coming out of high school. But he's showing me that he could do that. As you see Dom playmaking, hitting that boy Doug McDaniel for an easy bucket. And Dom has a really solid backcourt. Him and Doug, and then having Victor at the five, that's a crazy lineup. As you see Jalen Green get into the bucket for an easy dunk. I made that way too easy for him. And the game's dang near over, you feel me? I'm just getting the extra little bucket, getting to the lane, hitting him with a hezzy. Comboing up. I'm really trying to rev it in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cross over and step back for three and I'm gonna pull up and it's wet like water. Green light. And uh that's basically going dang near conclude the game. Man, it's tough for these boys. I ain't gonna cap. It was close. It really was close. But at this point in time, it's game over. As they hit me with an easy lay. And that's gonna conclude the game. Dom going in the game with 31 points. Four rebounds and 10 assists. He went absolutely crazy. And I just want to thank y'all boys for all the support y'all been showing me. And I also want to thank God because none of this is possible without him. I wouldn't be making these videos without him. And y'all wouldn't be here without him. So make sure y'all giving our Lord and Savior thanks every day. Make sure y'all praying every day and spending time with every day. Because that's the least we could do because he gives us life every day. Anyways, uh, concluding this game, that boy, Jalen Green, bought out. He had 26 points, you feel me? Two boards, two assists, one steal. Five for 11 from three. Shea Gooden had 12, eight, and two. A couple of the other players had some buckets too, but we don't really care to mention them. Isaiah Collier, he didn't have very much of a good game at all, but hey, maybe it was just rookie debut stumble. Dom had 31, four, and 10, as y'all know. Wimby had 21, 14, one, one, and three. And uh, McDaniel had 9, 3, and 2. And y'all see the rest of them boys' stats, but thank y'all boys for the support. Make sure y'all boys keep God in your life as always. I want to appreciate y'all for all the support because none of this would be possible without y'all or our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And until next time I see y'all boys, it's much appreciated. And yeah, until next time I see y'all boys, God bless.